Remember, he's playing at left half back despite wearing number two. And that ball is also wide. Yeah, Marty bad wide, but before that, Michael Cousin just, you know, just, there's one thing about a high ball, but it was a completely, you know, there was no uh, shape to it at all, just a, a Hail Mary ball into the square. And Asaki is big, but he's, you know, he can't be winning those impossible balls. Clinton Hennessy doing a Donald Logue, taking the quick puck out, sent in by Shane O'Sullivan. Here's Donald Logue. No time to put it into the hand. Drives it down the wing. Good calling between Ben O'Connor and left half forward Michael Cusser. And that's wide again. But really, the ball should be going into Isaki because. He should be playing it in front of him. You know, it doesn't have to be coming down out of the clouds, but we saw Cahill knock him with a wide from way out the field. Michael Cusser, a couple of balls in like that. And, you know, I think Tomas mentioned before, it's a big game for him, maybe trying that little bit too hard to get on the score sheet or whatever, but uh, you have to be playing those balls from that distance out in in front of the full forward line. Puck out again from Clinton Hennessy. Ends up with Michael Cusson. Cahal Lockton leaves it. Sent in by Niall uh, McCarthy, well gathered by Owen Murphy. And remember, there is a little bit of a mist here now in Central Stadium uh, falling, so it's going to make... Uh, Handling just that little bit more difficult. John Millard over the sideline. Sideline ball for Cork. And Marty, just to make another point. Every ball doesn't have to go through Osaki or Halpin as well. You know, Pat Horgan is there having a great year, you know, great league campaign. Kieran Murphy, very uh, accomplished hurler, and they're getting no ball at all. It's, it's nearly as if everything has to come out of the clouds and down on top of Osaki. Whereas you need to be bringing those lads into the game as well. Scored three points in the drawn match, John Gardner. Custom did well to keep it in. Brick Walsh cleaning up an awful lot of ball in that half back line. Batted down. Richie Foley and Stephen Malumphy there. It's Malumphy that has the possession. Tries to hand pass it. Great defending by Cork, three of them at the time. Cahar Nocton leaves it for Tom Kenny, who's now surrounded by three Waterford players. Pulled on by Seamus Prendergast. Referee is going to give a throw ball again. This is almost a replica of last Sunday, isn't it? It's very, very similar. Yeah, a lot, you know, a lot of hard tackling, a lot of lads, a lot of crowd. You know, I'd, I'd love to see Waterford if they spread out and played more traditional in their positions. Fraggy aiming for Isaki. Knocked away. Ben O'Connor chasing after this. Nice stick work by O'Connor. Can't control it. Sideline ball. You know, it's Waterford style, they bring so many players out to field and obviously when the ball comes in there's going to be a lot of defenders around it. So I'd love if they just line up in their six forward positions and play their own area, but that's not the way they do it. Owen Murphy has come across to take this. The Shamrocks Club. Intermediate actually between Tallow and Yall. Knockanor Parish in West Waterford. Stalwart of uh, this particular team for the last number of years. Not his best sideline cup by the way. Still it's Brigwatch. Has that nice habit with the hurley of laying it off. Long ball. Shane Walsh and Milan between them. Combined. The finish by Milan is superb. Second point for the Della Salma. And it's five points to three. Yeah, great play by Shane Walsh again here. You know, lovely, just a simple little flick out and a simple score uh, by John Milan. Puck out down to Cusson. Declan Prendergast and Walsh waiting for it. It's, this is Brig Walsh, thanks to the stick of Declan Prendergast. Ball into space, but it carried a little bit too much weight. Easy ball for Don Logue. Cusson, Gardner, available. Good understanding between left half and right half back. Down to Isaki, good control. Going to take a run at Liam Lawler. Our footballer is in the piercing, by the way. But uh, that's not his best pass. Easy ball for Shane O'Sullivan. Drives it long. Over towards Kevin Moore. Trying to get inside the cover. Shane Murphy. Sideline ball. Which way is it going? It's going to Waterford. Coming across to take it is Shane O'Sullivan. Former Fitzgibbon Cup winner. Two years ago now with WIT. Bally Gunnerman scored twice against Cork last Sunday. 
sending it along the surface. It skids along all the way far as John Gardner. Under a little bit of pressure from Shane Walsh. Undoubtedly he was fouled. And that is a free out for the Lee Siders. A little bit of holding there. Yeah, just a hurl was held there, yeah. It just shows the intensity though. The tackling is savage out there on both sides and you know, low scoring, but as I said earlier, you know, still an interesting game. Ronan Kern. Better ball for Isaki O'Halpin. Well to gather. Lays it off to Cousin. Interception just about was by uh, Brick Walsh. Hits it high. Owen Kelly. John Garner. It would uh, certainly appear that Owen Kelly was fouling John Gardner. Yeah, he jumped straight into him. He wasn't facing the ball at all. Watch John Gardner raising the ball and Kelly, Owen Kelly just jumped straight into him. John Gardner, eight years playing with his county. Made his debut against Limerick back in 2002. Dropping this in. Plenty of big men around there. Don't get the possession. Cleared away by Richie Foley. Kevin Moore unable to uh, keep it in. Sideline ball for Cork. Yeah, very anxious. You know, that again, there, you know, plenty of time with the ball. He could have taken that in his hand and delivered it down the field. We've seen a lot of very loose shooting from both, both players out around the middle of the field, hitting balls wide and aimless balls into the forward line. Tom Kenny going to take this sideline cut. Not his best either. Good block down by Cusson. Waterford regained possession. Shane O'Sullivan. Judged by the referee to have been over carrying. So it's a chance here for Cork. Will Ben O'Connor take it or will he leave it for John Gardner? Yeah, thought it looked harsh enough. Initially just flicked it on there. We, can't, we don't really see there the steps that he took initially, but he tried to flick it on over, over the head. So we had one earlier um, on the other side, so these things tend to balance out. Pat Cronin there with uh, Dennis Walsh thinking about making a move. Switch. John Gardner going for his second point here. And that ball is wide. Six wides for Cork. By the way, Waterford have yet to register a single wide. Yeah, it's unbelievably low score. All the plays, you know, it's out over the line and wide, and you know, no Cork forward has scored from play, which is unbelievable. You know, at, at this level of hurling, uh, it's just not good enough, really. Well, at any level of hurling, it's not good enough. That's what the forwards are there for. Ronan Curran into the space. Pat Horgan, sideline ball again. Just out of interest, let me tell you that Ben O'Connor is the only Cork player to score so far and in terms of the forwards. John Gardner from a 65, Cahill Nocton from midfield, and Ben O'Connor from a free. Niall McCarthy, Michael Cusson, Fraggy, Esaki, Pat Horgan, yet to score. And Waterford, it's Owen Kelly with three, John Milan with two. That's a far better sideline cut. But it's not so good to finish, I'm afraid. It looked good, it was going up into the air. Marty, dull, keep, isn't it, it is dull, but I keep harping on about it. Look, you know, if you watch Kilkenny Hurling, they line out in their positions and they play them and they play their zone. If you look out in the field here now, every player is on the far side of the field. There's no there's there's nobody in the right corner back, right half back position for Cork. There's nobody in the left corner back, left half back position for Waterford. And you know, it's like something you'd see in a, in a kids' match, really. They're all following the ball and there's nobody holding their position. That gives you an idea. One half of the field is just all uh, full of players, they were right. half empty. Well, one of the things, I only played one championship match in Turles, but you dream about playing in Turles, it's so big, big open pitch, and players just aren't using it, they're just all crowding it, and you know, it's very, very tactical, and I wouldn't be a fan of that type of hurling, I think you should be playing in your position and go and win your position. Like an under-14 game, you'll be telling the lads, you know, spread it out, open it up, lads, don't, uh, don't just follow the ball, but that's what, at the moment, is happening. Tony Brown is in there. Set two is Brick Walsh. Shane O'Sullivan. All alone, Ronan Kerr. Back down towards Fraggy Murphy. Pat Horgan. Michael Cusson is coming in first. Here's Fraggy, the captain. Floating one across in the centre is Niall McCarthy. 
Can he get a touch? Good defending by Owen Murphy. And it's gone out over the line. Good defending by this man, it must be said. Yeah, it was a brilliant ball by Karen Murphy.